what you need is a pattern bit that has a bearing on the top. And we'll use this to route our shape. So I made a thicker pattern piece. The acrylic ones are only about a quarter inch thick. This is half an inch thick. And this will allow the bit to ride higher on the pattern and have the blades still cut. So we're gonna put the double stick tape on to hold our template onto the body. So I'm just going to put some strategically located pieces. And then one in the center, like that. Now what I found, and it's easy way to remove double stick tape, is I just pull sideways on it and the top comes right off. Now on the template itself, I have a center line marked. I'm going to line up that center line with the center line that is on the body. And I'll position this lightly, lining up my lines by eye from above. Once that's set, now, pressing down hard like this means that I'm activating that pressure sensitive tape. And now that top is stuck on, it's not going anywhere. Now, this is only for the shape. The shape can be modified if you want to, you know, change these curves a little bit, do your own thing, you can, but this is a traditional uh, Stratocaster from the late 50s or early 60s. That's the, the unique, iconic style. Once your template is stuck on and ready to go, and you can see I've inserted my bit already, I have my dust collection apparatus set up. I wanna show you that the bearing height is set so that the bearings will rub on the template here, allowing the cutter to extend beyond this surface just enough to where it will completely cut it off as I go around. Before we begin, you can see that the blades are angled that direction and the thing is going to spin that direction. If it's spinning counterclockwise when you look down on it from above, you need to go across those blades so that your piece is running into the blades. So the piece is going to go to the left. So I will come across the blades in this direction. So this will be my all the way around. I'll be going back that. So I'm always going into the blade. And if you don't go into the blade, it will grab the piece and throw it like that. So we don't want that to happen, so we need to be always go from the right to the left when we cut into the blades and then you have no problem at all. I have made myself a little spatula. I've actually sanded the edges down and I've rounded off these corners. So I can use this to get in between like that. And then I can easily lift off my double stick tape. Because once you start going on this and you start pulling, it just kind of gives up and pulls right off. The dark stuff is burn marks. That'll all be sanded out. It's not too difficult. That's the way it looks. And now you can see how our glue up came out beautifully. This is an absolutely perfect glue joint. And that's where you want your 
your glue joints to look. You can see that this is different from the tabletop. This is just some, uh, some high density board. It's very thin. I think it's about an eighth of an inch thick is all. And I put it on here because I can run over that and not scratch my surfaces. So it's just kind of a protective covering to keep things from getting marred when I'm when I'm working with it. So that's the only reason that's on there. The next thing we'll do is drill holes and just keep following along in the lessons and you'll see this whole thing materialize right before your very eyes.